Hi there, I'm Mark, one of the coaches here to guide you in your trial of Wild Apricot. Over the next few minutes, I'm going to show you the kinds of things you can do with Wild Apricot's powerful backend. Things like add a new member, create an event, and send emails. So let's dive in. So here I am in the admin view of Wild Apricot. And essentially, Wild Apricot is set up so that you can complete all of the administrative tasks your organization needs in one place. You can see I'm on the dashboard right now, where there are a lot of quick links to complete tasks like adding members and creating events. But you can also see there's a menu at the top where you can drill down into each separate area. There are contacts where your entire database is stored, website where you can create and edit new pages for your site, events where you can create and manage events, your members area, your online store, your donations area, finances, emails, where you can also send newsletters to your members, and settings. Plus, we've also got a free mobile app for membership admins, where you can manage things from your phone too. So let's start with some basic things, like simply adding a new member, say, someone who comes to your weekly meeting. Well, you can pull out your laptop or your phone with our app and register them right there on the spot. So let's do that on our laptop. I'm going to go to Contacts, Add Contact. And of course, you can import an existing list of contacts from Excel too. So I clicked New Contact. Now I'm going to enter some basic information for them. And that's it. Now they're in your database. You can go to their profile and even assign them a membership level and then generate an invoice to be immediately emailed. Then they can go and pay online at their leisure. You can, of course, accept payment on the spot and record that too. Okay. Say you've got a simple lunch and learn coming up next Tuesday. Let's go and create online registration for that. Simply go to the events tab, click create new event. I'm going to choose simple. If your event is paid, choose advanced because then you can set up different types of admission fees. Simple events are for free events only. So I click simple, then I just fill out a title, date, and description. Come join us for lunch and learn more about the organization. I'll even add a picture. Then I'm going to make the event visible to the public and allow registration. And then save. Now you can go to your website and see the event live and anyone who comes to your event page can now register too. Plus, if someone registers, you'll see that in your database and you can even choose to send them an automated email reminder leading up to the event. So now that I'm on my Wild Apricot membership website, let's just take a tour of what I've created, all entirely within Wild Apricot, because you can create all of this too. So this is the website for my membership organization. I've got a home page, join us page, where new members can register, an events page, donation page, an online store where I can add merchandise like club t-shirts and hats and things, an about us page, news page, blog, contact page, and a member directory. Okay, so let's think back to that lunch and learn. Say I want to notify all my members that registration is now live. Well, I'll just head back to the administration panel and go to emails. Click compose email, and now I have the option to choose from one of our professionally designed email templates by clicking themed, or I can create my own from scratch by clicking basic. I'm going to click themed and choose the business style template. It's easy to edit this template however you like. I'm just going to click this block and type in lunch and learn instead. And once I've finished up my email, I can send it to anyone in my database to let them know registration is now live. I'm just going to go up to the menu and click recipients, then contact list, select all contacts and type in a subject. Then I can review and send. Of course, you can filter and group your contacts any way you like to send emails to specific lists or even individuals. You can even see who's opened your emails after you've sent them. Another thing that's really useful is Wild Apricot's summary reports. Say for instance, your board wants to report on finances for the month. So in this case, you can go to your finance tab, click reports, and then generate any kind of financial report for any period. Here's one showing the different income streams from events, memberships, donations, and online store orders from the last month. Or you can go to members and click summary to see a summary of all of your members, what membership level they are, who's paid on time and who's lapsed. And that's all I wanted to show you right now. In just a few minutes, we've added a new member, 
created an event, emailed all of our contacts, and generated simple financial and member summary reports. This is just a glimpse of what you can do with Wild Apricot. I encourage you to log into your trial and see what you can do for yourself. Over the next few days, we'll be sending you emails and tips to help you along. And at any time, you can reach out to me or one of our other coaches with whatever questions you have. And that's all for now. Best of luck with your 30-day trial.